we're looking at question 13, we're going to be going into the goal three sets of questions. Now goal three has a wide variety of formulas, but basically all of the math you're going to be looking at deals with business. So looking at 13, we're going to start by reading through the question and then identifying the key parts. A ruler sells for eight dirhams in a shop. The unit variable cost of one ruler is two dirhams and the fixed cost for the period is 600 dirhams. The total capacity for the period is 400 rulers. So let's start with this. A ruler sells for eight dirhams. So eight dirhams is my selling price. The unit variable cost of one ruler is two dirhams. So this is my UVC or my unit variable cost. And the fixed costs for the period are 600. So that's my fixed costs. The total capacity for the period is 400 rulers. Now when it says capacity, that doesn't mean the quantity. That simply means the maximum that it's allowed to be. So let's go ahead and start by looking at the first part. Find the total revenue equation. Well, here in the formula sheet, we see that total revenue is selling price times quantity. We found the selling price is eight dirhams. So we're gonna go ahead and put right that. TR equals eight, and we do not have a quantity, so we simply leave it as Q. Okay, find the total cost equation. So let's go ahead and look at the formula sheet. Total cost is variable cost times quantity, plus the fixed costs. So the variable cost is two, we don't know the quantity, and we have to add a fixed cost of 600 dirhams. The third question says calculate the break even point in units. So we're gonna actually come here to the unit contribution margin and do the break even in quantity. Now the break even in quantity is the fixed cost, so that's 600, divided by the selling price minus the unit variable costs. The selling price is eight and the unit variable cost is two. So we're gonna take our calculator and set up the equation exactly as we see it. Start with a fraction. 600 goes in the numerator or the top number and eight minus two goes into the denominator or the bottom number. And we see here that the quantity for breaking even is 100 units. And the final question says calculate the break-even point in dirhams. Now once you get the quantity in units, you just have to plug it into one of these two equations. We're gonna plug it into TR. So if we do eight times the quantity we just found, we get 800 dirhams. So let's go ahead and look at how this relates to our multiple choice options. TR equals 8Q, well that is A. The total cost equation is 2Q plus 600, so that would be D. Now if you notice, you have to be really careful because total cost could also equal 8Q. So TC and TR are two very different equations and you need to watch for that. Calculate the break-even point in units. Well right here, K is 100 units. And calculate the break-even point in dirhams, 800 dirhams or 800 AED.